Welcome to the Cary Technical Institute video training series. This program will review the DOORS 32 DOORS for Windows software basic installation and configuration. For proper installation and configuration of the software, please view the modules in the order listed. This will ensure that the information needed for programming will have been created and is available. Modules 1 through 9 will guide you through the installation of the software onto the host PC and configuring the hardware and operating parameters for proper programming and operation. Modules 10 through 16 review additional features used for basic system operation, communication between the host PC and controller network, and manual control of the doors, inputs, and outputs. The presentation consists of 16 modules. This is module 5 of 16, System Controller Setup. System controller setup will find and identify the carry systems equipment installed in the controller network through the auto configuration operation. Open the controller setup window by clicking on the setup system toolbar button or from the setup pull down menu select system. The controllers window displays controller information after discovery and allows you to set controller configuration parameters. The auto configuration operation pulls the access control network for all installed controllers and displays their information. Click the auto config button and after a short delay, the status of all communicating controllers is displayed. For systems that have already been configured, auto configuration does not change any of the program data in the controller. Auto config only reports back to the host PC information about the controllers in the field. All items are displayed once the auto configuration is completed. Click the set time button to set the day, date, and time of all controllers to match that of the host computer. All PXL controllers have an internal clock and calendar. You should click the set time button periodically to synchronize the time and date of all controllers with the host PC. Verify that the host PC's time and date are correct before clicking the set time button. Once the time and date on all controllers has been set, a confirmation window will appear, displaying the new network time and date. Click OK to accept. The controller address column displays the address set on each controller. C001 is the master controller. The type column displays the model of each controller. When items are gray, they cannot be edited or changed. Type or model of the controller indicates if there is a satellite board installed and if the satellite board is configured for second door or input output control. The ROM rev column shows what firmware version is in each controller. The user capacity column lists the user enrollment capacity for each controller. User capacity will vary depending on the model of the controller and the selected system options. The event capacity column displays the number of events the controller can store in internal memory before its event buffer is full. Dial out enable allows you to configure a controller to dial out to the host computer and upload its event buffer when the buffer approaches some percentage of being full. Click the off button to toggle to on and enable controller dial out. If dial out enable is set to on, the threshold percent field will turn to black to enable editing. It allows you to set how full the event buffer must be before the controller dials out to the host computer. The default value is 80%. Additionally, you must select auto collection on buffer full from the setup system, monitoring and events, monitoring options tab to enable this feature. The Wigan reader type allows you to identify the type of LED control the Wigan reader requires. There are three options for LED control. 
single line for a reader with one line or one wire control for the LED, dual line for a reader that uses two lines or wires to control the LED, and Essex keypad, which displays its state via two separate LEDs. Please refer to the reader manufacturer's installation guide for wiring instructions. Only PXL250W and PXL500W series controllers will display the reader Wiegand type. Changes must be saved or they will be lost when the option window is closed. Click the Save button to save changes to the Controllers tab. This concludes Module 5 of 16, System Controller Setup.